as a little boy. I don't know if you can think back to when you were a kid. The moments where uh, things are, I guess, not so good. But maybe I fell over, stubbed my toe, or stubbed my knee. And maybe I'm not in an emotional good place. And you always feel safe. I get around my mum or my dad. And I don't know if you remember the moment if you're a parent. You, you'd watch your kids do this to you, but those moments where you just reach out. I, I don't want to lecture. I, I don't want a moment where it's a teaching moment, like sometimes dads want to bring. I just want to be picked up. And I want their arms wrapped around about me. You, you remember that moment? No one? Come on, come on. Do you remember that moment? And it was like when you got in their arms, everything was going to be okay. There are people in this room that have showed up here in the service today and things aren't okay. I don't know your hurt, I don't know your pain, but it's just not okay. Maybe physically it's not okay. Maybe relationally, Maybe it could be in your marriage. Maybe on this Mother's Day, there's a rift that goes on between maybe you and your mum. Maybe your dad. Maybe there's no relationship there at all. Maybe it could be the other way. If you're a parent, maybe something has gone down between you as a parent and your child. It's a tough day for you to be here. Maybe it could be in your finances. Could be actually uh, just in circumstances of work, and you might beyond the years and beyond the age of, uh, I guess, with your mum or dad, or could, maybe they're not around anymore. But I want to make it really clear here today: the Father in heaven, He wants to pick you up no matter what your age is. Because here's the thing: is that you know what, a grown man. I can still come to my God and He picks me up right there. Right across this place, so I'm going to ask you just to close your eyes. Whatever emotional state, whatever the circumstance, would you just, just put your hands out in front of you, just allow the arms of the Father to wrap His arms around you right now. Maybe this. Whatever it is, I'll go right now. I ask you to step in. You would bring healing right now. Bring healing right now. Bring healing right now. God, let them know that it's going to be okay and you're going to help them through this thing. The last 24 hours, that scripture has been inside of me. He said, Be confident in this that what I start in you, I will bring to completion. Some of you have been thinking, man, this is over. It's done. I want you to hear this of what he started, he will bring to completion. So right here, right now, Father, breathe upon every individual in this room. Let them know that it's going to be okay. Okay to grieve. But there's healing. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, can you put your hands together? Give them some praise in the house. So good, so good, so good. Incredible. I love it when the presence of God shows up. So good. If we just pull that keyboard back a little bit, Mrs. Alman. Thank you, God. Incredible. Well, hey, look, uh, we want to welcome right now, before we sit down, we want to welcome. Uh, all our first time guests and we also want to do before we do that we actually want to welcome people that are online right now so can we put our hands together for all those people that are online it's great for you to be here at Game Changer Church come on you can do better than that say hi great to have you right here in this place where you can grab a seat right now come on can we put our hands together for the band we appreciate it